Omega Tangan presents. <laughs> There's voice acting for it. Awesome possum oh, no. kicks Doctor Machino's butt. I'm awesome. <laughs> <coughs> All right. In 20 years, mankind has automated the destruction of the environment. Governed by the twisted Dr. Machino, the world has little hope of survival. One last force stands against the evil robots. That force is... Dot, dot, dot. Awesome Possum! All right, uh, tell me the story, and please tell me there's more than just that. Barely. The pollution is gruesome, but with a possum this awesome, anything is possible. Perfect. What a mess we're in. For hundreds of years, we humans have carelessly polluted our planet. And what we didn't litter, the twisted Dr. Machino and his evil auto-polluting robots have now dirtied up but good. Is there any hope left for this tired old planet Earth? You bet! One last force opposes Dr. Machino and his messy minions. One final hope shines forth in our 11th hour quest to clean up our act and honor our environment. That force is... Awesome Possum. Uh, there's, there's more, um, voice acting. Like, this game is fully voice acted. Like, in, in this, these, uh, I don't know what the term, demo reel, I guess. Uh, there's Dr. Machino saying, you're annoying me, possum. Um, also, it looks like, uh, this game is, is Definitely. Oh, I did the thing again. I messed up. I'll say what this game definitely looks like. <sighs> Gray. Bubsy. Ah, eh, it's a little Bubsy-ish. Uh, I was I was gonna say that it's <laughs> it's very uh, educational. teaches you about uh the environment it's very educational it's kind of preachy it has kind of an undertone of robots are going to take all our jobs and ruin our lives he's found my control panel why is it Everyone has the same small talk, chatty motor mouth. Do you want to know the last time I heard the term motor mouth besides in a Sega game? Because I feel like it was like when I was 14 or 13, like <laughs> like more than a decade ago. In fairness, this game is almost three decades old, so. Awesome Possum saves the environment in the rainforest. You're not so awesome. You're not so awesome. For you kids who missed Secret of Nim, th this is basically it. I'm so cool! Hey look, I'm Sonic, but not quite! Still think this is only Bubsy-ish? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Someone looked at Bubsy and said, I want to make a knockoff of that. Wee! 
I don't know what the point is. Uh, get to the end of the stage? Without yeah. getting chainsawed? But that's no fun. Awesome possum! I'll, although, I, I would like to mention, possums are awesome. Uh, let's, let's get some possum facts out here. Alright, what possum facts do you have for us, or is that my job? Uh, well, the only one I know is that, like, possums eat, like, a billion ticks a day. Mm hmm And that's, that's only slightly a, um, exaggeration. I got an extra life! He told me, extra life! Hashtag for the kids. <laughs> A saltwater crocodile from Asia and Australia can grow up to A. 5 feet B. 20 feet or C. 100 feet Now, I've bound and rebound my controls, like, 15 times since this show has started. I'm pretty sure the answer is B, 20 feet. Because... But you don't know which button is B. 30 meters is a little bit long, and I know crocodiles can grow a lot more than 5 feet. So, I'm gonna press what I think is B. Hey, I got it! <laughs> Yay! The Rainforest Bonus Level 1. Is this as painful to play as it looks to watch? Um... It's actually not that bad of a game. I mean, it's, it's definitely Sonic, but Bubsy. I mean, that's... that's... That's just what it is. Brazil, Norway, and the Philippines get at least half of their energy from... A. Oil. B. Natural gas. Or C. Renewable sources. I would expect Norway to maybe get it from renewable sources, but I would very much not expect Brazil or the Philippines to get theirs from renewable sources. Especially not in the 90s. No. When did this game come out? Is there a copyright on the manual? Uh, checking. 93. 93. Hey! That was a good year. So do you think oil or natural gas? I'm gonna say oil. Okay, I kind of agree. C is the answer to this question. Renewable sources, what the heck? Do they just use... Nor Norway is all uh, solar and Brazil and the Philippines are just wood? <laughs> I honestly wouldn't be surprised. I think Norway actually has a lot of geothermal. Oh, that's true. Oh, I bet Philippines could too, because they're right there on the, um... Ring of Fire? Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm really fast. now I'm really fast! I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, come on. Oh, 
So, um... I think we're about done with this. Uh, what would you rate this game? <laughs> uh... Mm. Not well, but I'm having trouble thinking of a good analogy. <laughs> I just died. One out of three rejected magic school bot uh, magic school bus mascots. Nice. Ah! Um. Whoa. Okay. I'm so healthy. Secret uh, Yeah. Ow, my head! I suck so much. Um, I'm gonna rate this a... Oof. A 30 out of the thousand, uh, ticks that possums eat. Cause, yeah, it's it's just kind of eh. He juggles. Remember, apparently so. <laughs> Remember, kids, Bubsy is a warning. He is not to be emulated. <laughs> just wait until later when we put him through an emulation. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hey, kids. Um. Uh, Vote for, uh, climate control and, uh, stricter things on bad stuff. Stay in school, don't do rugs. Don't do rugs? Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> gotta, gotta stay away from those rugs. Carpet's okay! Alright, we're done with that. I mean, carpet's more of a gateway than anything else, but it's <laughs> so ingrained in our culture. I mean, if we're doing it this way, then obviously the best at Disney movie is Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Muppet Treasure Island beats Star Wars any days. And you know that's true. I, I know.